Should we say hi? Should we welcome everybody? This is the hardest part of the video. They say, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Banner. He's my sidekick. He does everything with me, goes everywhere with me. He can't live without me. Right, Banner? Right, Banner? Now, yes, I know I'm cooking and Banner's right here, but that's okay because this is my home, my channel, my food. Nobody has to eat it but me. I know Banner does not eat it, so he just likes to watch and hang out or face the other way. Really? So with that being said, I'd like to welcome all of the new subscribers. Please don't do that. Get back, sit down. Sit. Banner, sit. You have to sit. Today we are making cookies. Yay! And they are not dog friendly. So Banner can't have no cookies. No cookies for Banner. No, I'm sorry. Well, that's how it goes. It's just the basic sugar cookie recipe, which is like two and a half cups of flour one cup of butter, a fourth a cup of sugar, a cup and a half of brown sugar, two eggs, a tablespoon of vanilla, and um, a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of baking soda. And that's just the basic sugar cookie recipe. I'm sorry, they're not for dogs. They're not for puppies. Maybe tomorrow we'll make some puppy cookies, okay? Oh well. You'll get over it, okay? Yeah, you will. And then I'm going to add um, chocolate pretzel, chocolate covered pretzel crunch in a few of them. Um, I have some just regular chocolate morsels. I have peanut butter morsels. And I have some Fruit Loops. So I'm going to take those four ingredients and I'm going to try to make a couple different kinds of cookies and see how they turn out. I've been doing really good with my diet in the last two weeks, so today's going to be a cheat day. And if I want Fruit Loops in my cookies, I'm going to have Fruit Loops in my cookies. Right, Banner? Let's get started. First, we're going to take the... I always have to look at the recipe, even though I know what I'm doing, and I'm sure all of you know as well how to make the basic sugar cookie recipe but I need to make sure because one little miss whatever is going to screw up the whole thing. So let's mix the white sugar, brown sugar, butter, egg, and vanilla all in one. Add my one cup of butter going to give that a little mix and then I'm going to add my two eggs and my tablespoon of vanilla. I'm going to mix that all up. I'm just mixing banner. That's all I'm doing. I'm just mixing. Okay, that's mixed up pretty good. So then I have two and a half cups of all-purpose flour and then I have one teaspoon of salt. I use popcorn salt. One teaspoon of salt, is that right? Yeah, one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of baking soda. Make sure it's baking soda and not powder. So I'm gonna put that in there and I'm just gonna... And I sifted my flour as well. Now I'm going to take my wet ingredients and I'm going to... I pour my wet on top of my flour. That way it's less chance of flying everywhere. You don't need a blender or anything. It's a mix up just fine. I know, I know. Mm -hmm. Every time, every time, huh, Banner? You can see that, how it just starts thickening up. I'll zoom in so you can see that. Pretty good. The two and a half cups of flour, I sifted that before I measured it out. Because if you don't, you'll tend to get too much flour. Okay, that looks good. What you think, Banner? That look yummy? 
take it off. Yeah, look good to you. Yep, okay. All right, so this is the consistency that it will look like. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about a half hour to an hour, depending on the temperature of your refrigerator. You want it to get cold. It'd be easier to work with. Hey guys, we are back. The cookie dough has been in the refrigerator for about an hour. It's nice and cold and firm and the perfect consistency. So I put about um, a heaping tablespoonful in just a little dish thing here. And then I'm going to take my chocolate covered pretzels, a little too close, a little too close, get back. And I'm just going to put cookie dough. Oh, about maybe a tablespoon or so of the chocolate covered pretzels in there. And I'm just going to mix it up. As you can see. So this one is the chocolate covered pretzel. Make sure it's all in there, all mixed up. Actually, this, I said earlier, this was the peanut butter morsels. It's not, it's the Reese's Pieces morsels. So I'm going to take about a heaping spoonful of that. There's no measurements here, just whatever. I'm going to mix that up. I'm going to take a little bit of the chocolate morsels and the Reese Pieces morsels. And I'm going to mix them together. I know, I know, but you can't add any. You're just a, a bystander. You're a spectator. Nope, you're just a spectator. See what you mean? Maybe tomorrow we'll make the Anderson cookies. Huh? We'll make the Anderson cookies tomorrow? Okay, I'm going to put these in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. How do they look, Banner? Do they look good? Banner approved. This one. These cookies turned out really good, didn't they, Banner? They're crunchy on the outside and they're really soft on the inside. They are excellent. We did a good job, Banner. We did a good job. Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumb. <laughs> Please give this video. Hold on. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, like it, and subscribe. Wait, thumbs up and like. Is that the same thing? I think it is. But you don't give them a thumbs up, do you? I don't know. Anyway, thank you for watching. Please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed yet, like and share. That's it. Like and share. And I will see Banner and I, huh, Banner? We'll see you in our next video. Bye. Say bye, dear. Say bye.